All right, so as we're in lockdown and my hair is an absolute mess, I'm gonna risk it and get Tabitha to cut it. Um, she's <laughs> she's more nervous than I am, I think, but the worst that happens is it just has to go all short, but hopefully that ain't the case. I've told her how, how they do it in the barbers, but we'll see how it turns out. So stay tuned for that. This is the easy part. What you gotta do is just cut it all one length. And then the hard, the hard part is when she's gonna have to try and fade it in, or at least, if she can't fade it in, we're just gonna go like a one on the sides and then just long on the top. Ends up looking like a mushroom. <laughs> I think there'll always be some kind of hair come up to be cut. I think it's growing while I'm doing it. No, it's not growing while you're doing it. She's <laughs> just pulling me in the whole time. <laughs> and I used to doing that, but come on. Not while the camera's on. So this is the final result quite proud of myself really saying I've never ever cut hair before yeah it turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to turn out yeah especially because you can't go to a hairdresser at the minute no exactly when in lockdown cut it yourself we got the morning routine going of when it's sunny outside we uh, boil the kettle and then start washing the pots outside it makes it a lot easier than washing it indoors obviously if you splash anything it don't really matter it just goes on the grass where it was inside if it splashes anywhere you've got to wipe it up and the temperature difference is not much difference between inside and outside so when, especially when it's sunny best to do the washing outside all right so this morning we are going to be testing out the toaster that we bought off amazon uh we've seen a lot of good reviews about it but this will be the first time we're using it so we'll uh show you how it works out so now we've got to figure out how to uh, set it up oh that did something oh, oh. this came off <laughs> This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. This is like some kind of... Does that go in there? No, it doesn't go in there. It goes in there. I think that goes there. Ah, there you go. I did it. So now all I've got to do is just put it on the gas hob and turn the gas on. So I just need to place the bread on here now. Oh, if they actually sit up properly. They're a bit big. Never usually complain when it's a bit big. Uh -huh. We just have to sit something like that, I think. So that's kind of how they sit on there. Um, I don't know how small the slices of bread are supposed to be because this is not exactly big bread and it doesn't really fit on four slices easily. So we'll see how it turns out. So, so far, it's took the same amount of time to toast one side of the bread as it has for a kettle to boil. So it's definitely quite a bit slower than a normal toaster at home. But it's not come out too bad at the minute. We'll have to see how it comes out when it's finished. This is the toast. It's not toasted that much. as like it does in the usual toaster, but it is actually toasty. I think we're just going to have to get used to it, to be honest. But let's see how it tastes. So first impressions, it's toasted really good, actually. It don't look as brown, does it, T? No, it's but... kind of very pale, but... Yeah, but it tastes just like normal toast. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, so... Definitely recommend getting yourself one of these if you're in a van or even if you're camping. You can, as long as you've got like a gas stove, you can use it. So yeah, first impressions, definitely recommend it. I borrowed Liam's sunglasses. How do I look? <laughs> anyway, we are going for another walk. Last time we went that way, that was into Harby. Um, but this time we're going to go that way, which is the hose. Don't know if it's longer or not, but we'll have to go and find out.